we are going to solve now another very interesting question from the chapter function where we need to find out the range of the function f and the function f is here f of x equals to x comma x square of x square plus one where x is from real numbers and then r be the function defined from real number to real number so let me first write the function f of x equals to here x square plus x square x square okay x square plus one. Oh my god did you see one thing here uh, this is x square and here is also x square like like let's say uh, x is any number for a while let's say x is any number let's for a while minus 3 okay so minus 3 square divided by minus 3 square plus 1 this will always give you a value between 0 to 1 do you know that always you'll get a value between 0 to 1 because like you have some some box and you're dividing by that uh, the same box by the same thing so you'll get definitely 1 and even you're going to make your denominator even bigger by 1 so always that will result between 0 to 1 that's very sure you know like I have one apple and if I'm dividing that apple by apple then I will get 1 but what happens if I'm dividing that apple by apple the same apple plus something even more so denominator is getting even bigger stronger uh, heavier so that's why we'll get answer always less than 1 you know so it will be uh, between 1 to 0 right so I was just trying to inform you but uh, we have to solve it here uh, let's 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 solve it. Let's see how it's going to be. All right. So if I'm putting the value as a one, then I'm gonna get one square divided by one square plus one. That's one over two. If I'm putting let's say two, then it's going to be two square and then two square plus one. That's four over five. And if I'm putting let's say minus one, then minus one square. That's one again. And minus uh, one square. That's again one over one. So it's going to be one by two. So negative or positive, wh whatever you want to put, you put. Doesn't matter. Let's say I'm putting here five. So it's going to be five square divided by five square plus one. That is twenty-five divided by twenty-six. Divided by let's say one thousand. I'm putting. So it's going to be one thousand square divided by one thousand square plus one. It's going to be one thousand followed by three zero divided by one two three four five one so every time you know these all are less than one do you do you see that here every time one is bigger every time one is bigger one is bigger one is bigger and one case is there if you put zero then you're gonna get zero over zero square plus one so zero over one that's zero so your domain is is any possible value but the range is like between zero to less than one so here simply I can say that our range is range is always between 0 to 1 including 0 but less than 1 okay